Analyzing candlestick reversal signals makes the trend analysis much easier. As we can see, last week we had a big morning star signal, which is demonstrated by a big down day, a day of indecision, and the third day in the Dow closed more than halfway up this candle. However, it didn't close above the T-line. Remember, a reversal is when we see a candlestick buy signal and a close above the T-line. Friday, they opened lower and took it back down, just about the halfway point of this candle. Today, Monday, they opened and closed above the T-line. So now we do have a candlestick reversal signal and a close back up above the T-line. That gives us good indication that we are now in an uptrend. And because the trend channel had been coming back down to the bottom, going back up to the top of the trend channel, now look what's happened. It's only come halfway down. This gives us a much more better perspective that this is a J-hook pattern, which tells us if wave three is equivalent to wave one, there's enough strength in this wave to break out through the top of the trend channel. At this point, we would want to be predominantly long. When you add the analysis of the NASDAQ, you have stochastics in the oversold condition and a doji gap up through the T-line, making this a, a perspective J-hook pattern. Positive trading tomorrow, you still want to be buying or moving your positions or your, of your portfolio predominantly to the long side, and you stay long as long as the indexes stay above the T-line. Referring to our question in the chat room today, asked, do you stay long in positions when the market is going counter to what your positions are? The answer is yes. Notice coming out of this fry pan bottom that the uh, T-line still acted as support on our recommendation for SWKS. Staying long on this one, as well as CEMP coming out of a slow curve fry pan bottom also could not close below the T-line. Staying long on this one, at the same time, the market indexes were pulling back aggressively. So it's a very simple rule. You see a candlestick buy signal and a close above the T-line. You can stay long even if you see candlestick sell signals if there's no close below the T-line. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.